So here we are on a uh, <clears throat> nice cloudy Sunday afternoon at the Portland IKEA because there's no IKEA anywhere near. There's definitely not one in Bend. Bend is not anywhere close to big enough to uh, be able to support an IKEA. But uh, this is a very very popular IKEA. By the looks of the parking lot, is just packed. I guess it being the Christmas season doesn't help. But this is such a strange area because we're. We are right next to the Portland Airport, and this is the weirdest uh, shopping center I've ever seen. It's kind of like, you know when you pull into an airport and you drive down the long, long drive to get to the main terminal? Well, this was kind of part of it, just a big shopping center. So we're going to see if we can go in and find a bed and a mattress and maybe a dresser. And then I got some rope from the Home Depot. We're going to see if we can strap it to the old Spy Motion Mobile. And, uh, See what happens, but they have a nice little sign up here that talks about even the dopiest little European car can have stuff uh, strapped to the top. So let's see if we can make it happen, but uh, I will cut out now and you'll see me either with stuff or without stuff. Well, here I am. It's been at least an hour in the massive, massive uh, self-serve warehouse area of the, the IKEA. And, uh, Here's my cart. Yeah, I transitioned from just a regular push grocery cart to uh, this flat cart because I have all sorts of stuff here. I have the mattress for the bed. I bought a little chair. I have to get slats for the bed. Um, I got a little tiny nightstand and a dresser. So this place is endless. And this isn't the showroom. This is just the self-serve area. So anyway, uh, I'm going to try and fit everything in the car. Uh, may have to strap some stuff to the top, we'll see. Got some rope from the Home Depot. So uh, I'll be outside probably another 15 minutes and try to load all this crap. Well, there's an empty cart and there's a full car. Didn't have to tie anything to the roof. How cool is that? Got everything in there, nice and cozy. Everything seems to fit. I'm just glad I didn't get the full-size bookcase or a bigger dresser I think I think that's gonna work so it's uh, I don't know what time it is it's 152 and uh, I'm gonna probably stop at Burgerville get a burger but uh, this is it we're good to go and that proves that we're by the Portland Airport Okay, we're on uh, Highway 26, and we are uh, headed east, uh, back home with all the stuff in the car. But uh, I had to take a minute to show you probably Recalculate. one of the best views. I was trying to find a good place for it, too. But uh, you can see behind me just a living shitload of snow. Uh, not quite enough for the guys up here, I'm sure, who are looking to uh, snowboard. but. A lot of snow for this elevation, I think. But the best view, the thing I want you to see, we're gonna walk over here and hopefully not slip on the ice, is in this direction. Now, there's not much I can tell you about Mount Hood. I was trying to look up the Wikipedia page. Uh, dormant volcano, uh, east of Portland. It kills people, or people kill themselves by going up there. And I don't know how that looks in the uh, view, but that still has to be quite a few miles away, and it's a gigantic mountain. So uh, this is government camp, right? At least I think it's government camp. There's a sign for government camp. Uh, looks like there's a, at least one ski resort up here someplace. But uh, I'd like to hike in the summer, probably hike up a little bit more up to uh, Mount Hood as far as I can. You know, I'm not going to try and climb that thing unless someone convinces me that there's no chance I'm going to die. But, uh, you know, there's a little bit of snow out here and not a lot. But this is a nice little road. I just, I just uh, kind of cut off the road here a little bit. I'll join it back up at some point. But uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I love snow. And I love mountains that uh, look like that. So just thought I'd uh, give you a quick little show about uh, what's going on here. It's like there's a lot of action. This is uh, closing up the weekend, so but wait till it really starts snowing. 
So that'll probably be my last video until I get home. Updated. Unless we have amazing views. I'll try to make it quick, but that mountain is, it's just beautiful. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I just returned home from the trip to Portland and uh, this room was clean for about 24 hours on Thursday to Friday. Now it's a disaster again. So anyway, this is all the crap that I got at the Ikea. Uh, this is probably, I think this is the four drawer dresser that's just in pieces because the box was too heavy. Um, underneath that I think is the, ew. I don't know what that is. I kind of forgot what I what I bought already. Um, this long piece is the sides of the bed, I believe. This metal piece is the middle bracket to the bed. Uh, there's another bed piece on top. Um, let's see what happens over here. Oh, there. Those are the slats. The slats will unfold, and that uh, will go support the mattress. Here's the mattress. Um, got some pillows there. Got some, uh, got a duvet cover, uh, but I don't have a duvet, so I don't have to wait. Uh, there is the uh, pad for the new chair, which actually I'm more excited, I think, about that than anything else. Uh, the bed's going to be good there. So anyway, it's a disaster in here, so they have the mattress over there. Hey, look what I found in the trash. How cool is that? I saw some guy walking with it, and uh, he just chucked it, and I thought maybe it was wood, but it's stainless, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, galvanized steel. So I'm thinking about, uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint it. I might spray paint it copper. That looked pretty cool. I'm going to put it up on the wall or I don't know, do something with it. I just thought it was cool. Um, anyway, so this place is uh, pretty messy right now. Uh, I'm going to go back and show you the bedroom to show you how messy that is. And then through the magic of television, uh, we will come back when everything has, yeah, ice boxes are still in the hallway. So the only room that is clean is the bathroom. So there are clothes everywhere in here. I mean, it could be messier, but uh, I just haven't cared. So, and I haven't slept in here since Monday night, and it's still Sunday. So, um, through the magic of television, we will be back shortly uh, to you after I have built everything and uh, see how everything looks. Okay, it's 11:30, which means I spent almost six hours working on the furniture. I'm done. So here's the after. <laughs> no more crap everywhere. Everything's cleaned up. Of course, I need a couch and a TV and a TV stand. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty empty room. But here's this awesome chair. 60, 60 some bucks. This kind of rocks. Oh, it's super comfortable. So I don't know if I'm going to use it at the at the uh, desk because my butt hurt sitting on this fabric from the outdoor chair but anyway uh, uh, there's a lot of room in here and it still echoes so <clears throat> okay now moving on uh, the box situation is getting out of hand uh, there's so many damn boxes in here from everything so I can barely fit through the uh, hallway anymore but here is the bedroom Ta -da! no clothes everywhere there's the four drawer dresser and my kick-ass bed. I've always wanted a bed like this. This little headboard there. I debated on what style headboard. I thought the pillows would fall through that, but the slats are there's <clears throat> less room between them than I thought. So nice little nightstand there. Big deep drawers. So I'm pretty stoked. I have no nothing else in here. It almost looks like a model. Uh, like that someone hasn't lived in here yet. So. Got to get a duvet cover. Other than that, we're good. I'm glad it's uh, glad I'm done. I won't have to build anything probably for another month <laughs> until I buy some more furniture for in here. But uh, all right, this is me signing out.